it's going on fellas and welcome to the FM20 beta. Oh, I was not expecting it to come out today. Welcome to Halloween and my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you very much for dropping in. Maybe stay if you want. Hit the subscribe button. There's definitely going to be lots of FM20 content coming out. Um, if you're coming back from the FM19 series I was doing, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here. You are more than welcome to come back, or to be back. As you can see, true to my word, Atletico Madrid is the club we're taking over. Atletico Madrid is the jersey I am wearing, with Yao Felix on the back, because I was going to say I like youth, but that is incriminating. <laughs> This is what we've decided to do. We're going to manage Atletico Madrid for the beta. So for these two and a bit weeks, we're going to be in charge of Atletico Madrid. And then we're going to do a non-league to legend type thing for our main series when the full game comes out. Um, I said I'd start on this screen because this is where FM20 starts. Um, I don't have fixes for... Um, kits and names so it's going to be slightly off because I don't want to find out that there's an issue in the game and not know if it's the game that's causing the issue or the pack that I've put in so we're, you're just going to have to suffer for the two weeks two and a bit weeks two and a half weeks maybe just put up with it it'll be fine um, as you can see, we've taken over at the Metropol Metropolano, Metropolitan. We've taken over at Madrid, Atletico Madrid, that is, on 90k a week, taking over from Diego Simeone. I'm sorry, Simeone. It was built in 1994, so it was renovated fairly recently. Expected to finish third. Hmm. The chairman, I'd like to formally welcome you to Atletico Madrid. To get you acquainted with your new surroundings, you'll receive our introdu introductory welcome pack. Before going on to finalise the vision and objectives, we've proceeded together, or we're to proceed together with. Congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck. Nice club history there now. We've been relatively successful. This is the 11 day think we're... This is probably the best 11 we have. Um, yeah, Oblak, definitely. For Salco, he's good right back. Jimenez and Felipe. Saul. I have, I have an idea of how I want to play this team. But I don't know exactly yet. Uh, Morata is definitely joining. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I kind of want Chapaquisa in the team, but we'll see how we get how we do when we get there. Um, so this is the club vision. They want to strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Our five-year plan is to maintain self-sustainability. I hope I can do that. Sign young players to develop for profit. Okay, I can develop young players. For profit, I don't know. I kind of like... Uh, we'll see. Work within a wage budget, not a problem. Have to do it anyway. Um, so, for the end of the current season, they want us to continue to aim to win the first division, or the La Liga. Uh, get into the, reach the latter stages of the Champions League. Win the first division, it's required. Super Cup's not important, and that's favoured. And they want us to reach the quarterfinal of the Champions League, okay? The end of next season is to win the first division. My contract expires, which is interesting, but they want us to try and win the first. Basically, we just have to win. win. We have to win La Liga. They want us to do it every year. I think we can We can push for it at least. Um, I've decided to do the introduction because... I do. I did it last year. I want to go through everything to see the changes that have been made, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, so we are going to do the tactics induction today. Um, we're going to schedule a conference. We'll do. We'll do the 
the squad, uh, the intra squad friendly against the B team as the game for today's episode, so we can see how my squad fits with the squad that the B team has. And yeah, we're going to do all that. Yada yada yada. I'm going to call this. Hello. Okay. Beta Atletico Madrid. So, we'll have a look around, see how everything's getting on. Um, I have just gone and selected the the option for whatever is best for the club. So my, I have a Continental Pro license and I'm an international footballer. So we'll go and have a look and see how many caps I've gotten for Ireland in my time. Because, as you know, I've gotten caps because that's how it works. Uh, what is that behind me? That's fine. I didn't realize you could see a box that's behind me. So I'm just gonna move my camera a little bit. Um, oh, this is, uh, I, oh, I'm so happy. I can't wait to get into this. I've played 35 times for Ireland and scored 15 goals. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll have a look at the inbox, just telling us that we've been employed. Our assistant manager is gone. He's 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 a good coach. I'll have to replace my assistant manager, so tactics induction, let's take that now. So yeah, we can do that so they think control possession, gay compress, or tiki taka would be what suits us best. Um, does it? All right, so uh, yeah, I think we did control. Well, we did control possession for the majority of FM nineteen. So and I didn't really like gay compress, but it's pretty much how we play. But I might try tiki taka. Although that's. a fairly low tempo I think now we're gonna do tiki taka but we're gonna do it a little differently and so I think the five two two one wing backs is what would work best interesting I'm thinking more four two three one just for the or do we go for the four one four one? Two playmakers, three playmakers. Oh no! Oh no! No, that definitely won't be happening anyway. Your boy does not play with more than one playmaker. Um, actually, we won't play with Tiki Tack as well. We'll do a uh, control possession. Never a formation. I really played. They really want us to play with five at the back. I think we do the four two three one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 We've all seen that before. Um. The assistant is going to pick a team he thinks. Um. Obviously, a black. Pretty standard. The mid central midfield is definitely going to be changed. Without question, the setup. I don't really play with central midfield, and I don't play. A ball winning midfielder all that often but these are going to change as well so I, I understand okay perfect thank you very much very good uh, club vision and club meeting Um, I don't think there's anything I really want to change so it's going to accept the current view and uh, Versalco is injured but a lot of our players came back in perfect condition. So we can't have any more than three non-EU players. The squad must have no more than six players who've been registered for a different team. It's fine. Maximum of 23 outfield players in the team and squad must have no more than 25. Uh, generally, don't you have to have three goalkeepers anyway? So we have Hiao Felix, who does look pretty, 
fucking good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change the colours of these because yellow was what I used for 16 plus in FM 19. And I'm slightly confused by all the yellow. My brain sees all the yellow and goes, whoa, but what are these green things? So we'll have to change that, I think. Um, 113 million spent on him. Oh. But we got 108 million for Antoine Griezmann. So you win some, you lose some. And Eden Hazard, Hazard, uh, Eden Hazard, Jesus, Eden Hazard is the other big transfer in Spain. Use good, use the facilities. That's fine. Who think I should make Koke captain? I think so too. So we're gonna have um, a little play around with all of these. I've looked at the squad. I need to yeah take the squad induction. Yeah. I understand all this stuff. We all do. I thought these are the inductions that I probably didn't actually need to do. So what we'll do is I'll come back with a fixed working tactic, hopefully, and we will see how we do against the under or the B team. Or the under 19s. Okay. Against the under 19s. Um, speaking of, where are the under 19s? Where is the rest of my squads? Um, huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll be back in just a second with a working tactic and, well, a tactic, not a working tactic, but a tactic I want to use and we'll be back for the under 19s game. So just give me one second. I don't want to bore you with the whole me creating a tactic that's going to destroy everyone in FM20. So stay right where you are. I'll be back in just a second. All right, fellas, we're back now for the game against the under 19s. We have fiddled around with the tactic a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I've picked what I think is going to be, well, it's what the starting 11 is going to be now because we have injuries and players out on low, or sorry, on holidays. And I've brought a couple of players up from the under 19, so I think might be quite good. I've also changed the colors of these to be more in line with what I prefer. So I think this guy could be good. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with him just yet. So I've not started him training on anything. And Valera looks a pretty fruity winger. So why not? So the changes we have made is um, ball playing defender on the left. I've moved, um, I have a cover ball playing defender on the right. Complete wing back on the left. Inside forward on the left with an inverted, inverted winger. Inverted winger on the right. Box to box midfielder and a deep lying playmaker alongside each other in central midfield. Um, I've changed the advanced playmaker on attack to a, a, yeah, an attacking midfielder on support. And then instead of a deep lying forward, we're going for an advanced forward. Although, do I want to. Uh, no, we, we try a complete forward because I do like a complete forward. And in FM19, I didn't have many players who were capable of being complete forwards. So I never really got to use it to its full extent. Um, <clears throat> transfer wise, we have, I'm trying to bring in, oh, I didn't try and bring in an under 19 as a system manager, but I'm bringing in a head of youth development. Tried bringing this guy in on loan. Barcelona didn't want to have anything to do with it. So we're just gonna jump into the game. Um, if there's jumps in between, it's because there is trick or treaters outside. And I'm pretty sure you'll probably be able to hear them. And the fact you can't see the goalkeepers' names are interesting. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close that. Um. Yeah. Go and show me where you should be playing. Give me a solid display. Yo, Felix. Yo, Felix understands. He knows what's going on. So obviously a highlight straight away because they, this is one of the things they've gotten rid of is there's no more highlights straight away. We're on extended highlights. That's 
interesting. Um, do I do T? No, I don't do TV. Behind goal? No, that's when I, for when we score goals. Sideline? Is it? Is it sideline? Or are we just gonna do? We'll just we'll stick with director for now. Um, when a goal is scored. Yeah, behind. Uh, behind goal. So that is delightful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the the one we play, or the one we use. Renan Lodi, the pitch is already taken a bit of a beating, less than two minutes into the game. Hmm, interesting. Um, having looked at the under 19s and the B team, not a whole lot going on. We definitely need to uh, invest in some youth if if we want anything to happen. With this team youth is definitely something we need to uh, invest in we do not have that many good players i brought two of the good players up and other than those two i think there's one guy who's out injured for like six months but Murata is true Murata scores it's like he's playing against a bunch of children oh wait he is i'm so excited for fm20 Big turnout today for uh, for this match behind closed doors. The uh, oh, there we go. The I was going to say the hoardings have uh, freaked out. They're in the matrix, but they seem to have fixed themselves. So I am probably going to look mostly to sign youth players anyway. Um, that is one of our things we have to do bring in youth and then sell them on for a profit but I would like to sign some players um, that I know have potential weird it's it's so weird when you uh when you're playing Murata with his second it's 2-0 we're not going to do a Lelujo on this we're actually going to win the friendly against the under the under 19s um hashtag topical um, but yeah, the, what was I saying? Yeah, we need to sign, we need to sign youth players. We have like four central midfielders, which is fine, but I would like a couple of youth players to come in and just have like maybe one youth player in every position. I'm definitely considering a new right back at the moment and I want a third goalkeeper. So I try and find a young Spanish prospect goalkeeper. Uh, the players they're recommending to me are like mostly Barcelona players. And I'm like, eh, you know, I don't really want to sign Ter Stegen. Yo, Felix. Oh, he almost scores. It's been headed back in. So gets the assist Morata with his hat trick. Uh, the only strikers we have at the in the team at the moment are... Um, Valera, Diego Costa and Morata. So unless we get someone else in, Valera could actually play some games. And I think he'd be quite happy with that. Judging by how he's getting on at the like his stats at the minute, I'm not so sure. Uh, we could definitely do with a couple of extra centre backs as backup. We do most definitely lack um depth in so many parts of the, the pitch. But I'm definitely think, considering um, uh, Saul, Xiao Felix offside. I definitely consider um, Antonio Adan as a good prospect. Not a good prospect. He is also very old. What was the thing? Play. Um, but he's definitely he's a decent backup. It's, he's he's fine. Like if something happens to Oblak or as a cup keeper, um, I have to say. Adnan is a fine goalkeeper. Um, I remember him from past FMs. He was quite good, I thought anyway. I found him quite good. I didn't have any major issues with him. So he got my Wigan team to the Champions League semi-final, I think. So, you know, if he can do that with Wigan. But to be fair, that was, that was a crazy squad. I had Kevin De Bruyne playing in that team before he was really good. 
I mean, he was still a Chelsea player. So, you know, before anyone thought he was actually good at football. It's been a fairly uh, one-sided affair. As I said, uh, you know, Atletico Madrid's under-19s get a player through. Very late flag, but all right. So, everything is going quite well. Um, very happy. Do your thing. Is there anyone I'm considering on the bench that I really want to give some game time to? Uh, Lorente. I quite like him. Uh, might give Lemaire. I'm going to bring one instead of Yo Felix. Because Yo Felix is uninterested. Other than them, and. There's nobody on the bench I really want to bring on right now. Maybe. I'll bring on Diego Costa. You don't want to be a complete forward. You want to be a pressing forward. But I'm going to make you be. A, you're going to be a complete forward, whether you like it or not. And. I don't have a right back on the bench. Kieran Trippier is definitely one I'm considering. Maybe a weak link in the team at the moment but we do have a bunch of other players like we have we have other players that are on holidays because of the world cup i'm assuming that actually makes a lot of sense i didn't think of that beforehand and we have some players that are on long ish term injuries so they're definitely going some of those players are definitely considered for going forward Carrera. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he just stomped on him. Diego Costa to take the penalty. I wouldn't mind bringing back some uh, legends as well. From the Atletico Madrid years gone by. Like Fernando Torres would be a nice player to have at the team. He's ancient. He's not very good. But he'd be, be someone I'd consider. Just for, you know... The fact that he used to play for Atletico Madrid a couple of times. Like he's been at the club twice. Felipe boshes it off one of the sent the the players. Kieran Trippier. I think the reason they wanted me to play with um wing backs instead of like full backs playing at, as wing backs is because Kieran Trippier and uh Lodi Lodi are that was just terrible goalkeeping. This kid in goal. Not really doing much to make me think I should bring him into the first team. <laughs> They've taken him off. Um, We're going to make a bunch of substitutions ourselves. Um, Mayas. Got like one for Savage. But yeah, we're... Hmm... Hmm. Okay, I need to fiddle with this a little bit more to get the team the way I want it to be. Just so I can bring everyone off the bench. Um, yeah, I think they wanted us to play with the kind of wing-back players because Trippier and Lodi are good wing-backs. Um, I'm not going to be able to change it now, actually, because there's substitutions haven't been made yet. But it's definitely something we need to... Um, to look at because we're definitely lacking why why would you send a player off in a friendly why would you get sent off in a friendly against your home not home team um you're just going to move everything around a little bit what does varela wait you're not a striker no you're a winger oh the striker i brought in is the guy who isn't fully fit so I'll just pop Lamar over here make him an inside forward and we're going to bring Quintana on for Saul Quintana you're the guy Quintana's the guy that's not really sure what he wants to do with life so we're going to do we're going to make make okay, you want to be a box to box too Okay, Herrera can be 
Yeah. This is how we're gonna. And what have I created? It's a monster. But yeah, it's um. I'm definitely looking forward to the safe. I hope you are as well. If you are, please make sure to leave a like. Um, when I'm recording this, it's nine minutes until my next FM19 video comes out. And that's actually the last one I have recorded. I was just in in about to start recording um, an FM19 video when the beta came out. So I ended up just playing FM20 instead. But this is definitely one that I'm... Uh, Looking forward to I think everyone everyone's really looking forward to um FM twenty. Otherwise why would you be watching FM twenty content? Um were you the guy that wasn't called? You were. Um you're he's not great at making decisions in re in like in game, but according to this, he can make a decision. Also today in the game is my twenty ninth birthday. So, you know. Everyone say happy birthday. Um, after seeing how I, you know, wasn't sure about Trippier, Trippier's going to play the entire game. But Felipe managed to play the entire game as well. Murata with a hat trick, you know, it's pretty standard stuff. Um, very happy. We got man Murata, obviously man of the match. Served a breather, very good, well done, fan Davidosi. We don't have an awful lot of money, is something actually I meant to say. We um, we spent it all. So, as it is right now, we have less than a million euro in transfer budget. And we have... 30k? 6k in wages. So we had 30k. Which is why I was confused by the other thing. Um, maybe we brought... Yeah, we, we sold a lot of players, but we also brought in a lot of players. Um, Thirty-nine and a half million. Twenty-five million. One hundred and twenty-five million. Twenty million. To be fair, we did sell Rodri, Lucas Hernandez, Griezmann, Gedson, Martins. You know, we we Vieto. We sold a lot of players. We sold a lot of players. Um, staff, Diego Simeone left. That's been about it, really. But yeah, that's... Um, I like that that where you can like go, oh, I want to I see, or I don't want to see it. That's quite good. Uh, club info in general. Let's see. Um, yeah. He is a legend. We are, actually, before we end this episode, we are expected to finish... Third place in the league. And I'm hoping that we can do better than that. But we have to wait and see, I suppose. Uh, definitely need to do a little bit of a fiddle with the team. So we do have... One, two, we have a couple of friendlies for me to figure out the whole situation. We have 17 days till our next game. I do need to have a look and see what we can bring in. We have the Champions League as well, so... For the next episode, we'll be back for the Valvoid game. And we'll have a look at any transfers we've made. If there's anything interesting that's happened while you're gone. Or do we just skip? No, actually, fuck that. We're going to skip, skip straight to the Barcelona and the first game of the group stage. Because it's Barcelona. And playing Valvoid and Eber, nobody cares about that. We'll jump to Barcelona and whoever our first group team, our group, uh, Champions League group team, group game is going to be against and fuck Villarreal nobody cares about Villarreal it's Barcelona and the first team we're going to play in the Champions League so if you have enjoyed I know this is a relatively long video but if you have enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share with all of your friends and I will see you tomorrow for more FM20 content <laughs>